Today we are going to install the latest version of Windows 11 25H2 on any computer, even those that say I'm not compatible with the latest version of Windows 11. We are going to create a USB installation drive using the official Windows image and we will choose whether we want to simply update our computer or if we want to wipe everything out and install and remove all the apps and all the documents and all that. But that's a decision on your side. Let's go to our browser and search for Windows 11. We will find Microsoft website which already has the latest version 25H2 we choose the download ISO image, select the language, confirm and download the ISO image to our PC. Easy as this. Now, if we don't have Rufus yet, we just need to go back to Google, search for it and we will find the Rufus official page, download it. You don't even need to install because there's always a portable version. Now, I have Rufus and Windows image on my desktop, so I just need to open Rufus and drag the ISO image into Rufus. Now, let's insert a USB drive with at least 16 gigabytes and leave all the settings as they are. Let's click on Start and there are some points for unsupported PCs which will appear. Now, here we just need to choose the ones that we required. I just selected two, but if you need all, just select all all of them and then press OK. It will ask if we want to erase the drive, we will confirm yes and now it will take about two minutes or so to prepare the USB for installation and once the USB is ready we have two options. One is to update maintaining all the apps and all the documents which is what we are going to do today and the other one is to erase everything that we have on the laptop but it's not by using the app itself. We will do another process in a next video where we will enter in the BIOS and then clean up the computer, the drive and install Windows 11 the proper way. But today let's go just for the update in case you want to keep everything. For example, this Shui laptop works great. I don't want to remove the apps. I don't want to remove my documents unless I want to do a video about removing everything, but it's not the case of today. So let's open the USB drive on our computer. We want to update, so let's run setup. In the menu, just click next and it will check for some updates. Accept the terms and now we will see the option either to keep everything as it is or to change. If we click that menu, it shows that we can keep everything. We can keep only documents or erase everything. Here, let's keep everything as it is and click next. After some checks, it will start installing Windows. And here, get ready for about 20, 30 minutes or so. Plenty of time to grab a glass of water and watch probably an episode on Netflix. Those short ones. Now, once this phase ends, it will restart and do some updates. This part is pretty quick. And then it reaches the final screen saying it might take a few minutes. And after about two minutes or so, so we are on the Windows desktop. And now if we check, we already have Windows updated to the latest 25H2 version, keeping all our documents and programs intact. So it's just an update in case you have gone many times to the Windows update right over here and it doesn't show the latest version of Windows. So you can update manually with this process, which is really, really easy. Now, if you are looking for another way to clean up all your computer and install Windows, you can use this same method and on the step that we choose to keep everything, you just need to choose remove everything. But that honestly is not my favorite way of installing a operating system. I prefer to go through the BIOS with the USB that we have just created and then install from scratch, erasing everything that I got on my SSD or hard drive, depending on the case. And if that's your case, then stay tuned to the channel. If you still haven't subscribed, subscribe so that you can check out when I release that particular video. Hope that the video was helpful. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.